I'm recovering from this project yesterday. I noticed last year that things did not grow very well in this bed at all. So I got in here yesterday and realized that it was full of roots. Let me show you what I have in here. So this was all along the top. This is kind of, I guess, mycelium. It was just a network of roots. And then I had these coming up from the bottom, larger roots. So all of this came out of that bed. Now it's a nice loose soil and I'll be able to plant in it. But I'm gonna have to add some heavier soil. I think the problem was I had built this bed out of mulch and peat moss and a lot of lightweight materials. And I think that really facilitated the growth of mycelium. I've had this bed set up for about a couple of years, but look at this guys, it's, it's completely all roots. And this looks like peat material here. So I think my solution to this is gonna be to add some topsoil to this bed make it a bit of a heavier mix. I just think it was too lightweight and the, the mycelium roots really took hold and took over. It was choking out anything I tried to plant in here. And um, now it's a loose, really nice, rich mix, but it's still very lightweight. So if I add a little more weight to that, I think I'll be okay. Um, if it does turn out that this giant maple tree here is just putting too many roots into the raised bed, which you can't blame it, I would come over here. It's always getting watered and fertilized. Can't blame a tree for wanting water and fertilizer. But if it turns out to be the maple, I will probably have to just relocate this bed which won't be a big deal. But look, now I can actually dig in here, guys. That'll be good. I'm gonna try this year to add maybe about four bags of topsoil. And that'll add a, a little bit of uh, weediness to it. It'll also help it retain some water, I think. Because it's an awfully light mix. And it just dries out too quickly and creates this situation, late winter is all about prepping, getting your beds and garden areas prepared for planting. Okay, I've been to the store and I've come home with two bags of compost and manure and three bags of the topsoil. So let's see if we can make this raised bed have some heavier soil, which will be less conducive for mycelium and more conducive for my annual flowers and vegetables. So I'm gonna go ahead, spread this out, till it in, and then come back next month and hopefully plant up a lot of things. And those roots will fill the bed instead of the mycelium. Now mycelium can grow back fast, but my goal is to create a bed of soil that's not as friendly to mycelium as the peat and mulch mixture was. First I'm going to add some manure. Hopefully this is com composted down enough. There's going to be another month or so before I start planting so that should give it a chance to mellow. May only need one of these bags. We'll see. Let me get stuff thrown all around. Put a nice layer of this on. And guys, I'm seeing a little bit of roots here and there, but as I go ahead and plant this, I can continue my removal of some of these mycelium roots. Mycelium is just a fungi and it likes to it likes to grow in woody material in the forest. So hopefully this is gonna be just too heavy of a mix and for it to like. We'll see. We'll see if my plan works. I'm gonna start dumping this out.
and I, I'm hoping this will rehabilitate the bed, the garden bed. It's a beautiful texture. I think one bag of the manure is probably going to be enough. You never want to overdo it. I think one will do it, and then I'm going to add the three bags of topsoil on the top. And all of this is going to get dug in when I plant my plants. So it'll all be mixed up. And uh, I'm doing my best to remove more of this as I see it, guys. Just I'm just tossing it out of the bed because it will grow fast. But that's okay. I'm going to keep on top of it. And if I plant in it every season, it'll be easier to do. This bed was pretty neglected last year. And as a result, it really didn't produce much. Okay, I think that's enough compost. Now I'm just going to add in going to go ahead and add in my topsoil. Guys, this is just the cheapest topsoil from Lowe's. It's Garden Pro. It was $3.27 a bag and that's all I need. I'm just trying to make this a heavier soil. Got the compost which will add the nutrients but I'm just trying to make the tilth more dense and put in some soil that's going to retain water better. And guys, that should do it. I only used two bags of topsoil and one bag of the compost and manure. And in case you're wondering what these little green sprouts are, they were growing there they, before. They are Egyptian walking onions. So even though the soil was less than ideal, they were doing okay. But this looks so much better, guys. So it's going to be all ready to be planted up in a month. I'm going to come out here with some of my more cold hardy annuals. I'm going to really plant it thick so the roots of those plants fill up this bed instead of mycelium and tree roots. So we'll see how that goes. And I hope that this bed rehabilitation goes well. I'll keep you updated. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.